our lives are quickly moving in the mobile direction. Everything that used to be managed on your iMac can now be done on your iPhone. But have you ever thought what would happen if you lost your phone? Or worse, broke it beyond repair? Think of what you will lose. All of your photos, your contacts, apps, and more. That's why you should always back up your data. When backing up your data, you're creating another copy of your device. If you somehow lose your device, you have nothing to fear because another copy is safely held in a different location. Previously, you would use your desktop or laptop through iTunes, may it rest in peace, to back up your phone. If something would happen to your phone, you can buy a new one, plug it into your computer, open iTunes, and restore from a previous backup. However, if you no longer have a computer, you need somewhere else to keep a second copy of your data. If you're looking at a second place to store all your data, look no further than your iCloud account. iCloud is Apple's cloud suite that can sync your contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari bookmarks, notes, usernames and passwords with iCloud Keychain, and track your Apple products with Find My iCloud is a great place to start when looking to sync and back up your data. However, iCloud is not the only place you can save your data. If you've added any other email accounts to your phone, there's a chance that some of your information may be saved on those accounts. So first, you need to know where your data is saved. If you open Settings, then Accounts and Passwords, you can see all the email accounts that you have set up on your iPhone. Under each account, you can see which services are enabled, and if you know which account is syncing your contacts, calendars, etc., then disable the other accounts that also have those services enabled. For instance, since I use my iCloud account to sync my contacts and calendars, I'm going to disable those services from Yahoo, and it would be even better if you configure this when you originally add your account to your phone. If you know which account is syncing your contacts, calendars, notes, and reminders, you can skip this part and go to the next about how to back up your photos. If not, keep listening to learn how to find which account is doing the work. So start by opening the calendar app, then clicking calendars at the bottom. Scroll through the list and see which accounts are active and which calendars are linked to them. In the top left of each section is the name of the account, such as iCloud or Gmail. Look at the calendars you have set up under each account. Do you have an account enabled with no calendar events? If so, go back into Settings, then Accounts and Passwords. Select the account of which you want to disable calendar, and then toggle calendar off. Now open the Notes app. Then, clicking the Back button to go into your folders, Scroll through the list and see which accounts are active. In the top left of each section is the name of the account, such as iCloud or Yahoo. Do you have an account enabled with no notes saved? If so, go back into Accounts and Passwords and Settings, select the account of which you want to disable notes, then toggle Notes off. Next, open Contacts. And if you have more than one account enabled, you'll see Groups in the top left corner. This will open a card where you can scroll through and see which accounts are active. One by one, select an account and click Done, and see which contacts appear. You're trying to find accounts that have little to no contacts or out-of-date contacts. Go back into Accounts and Passwords and Settings and disable the accounts that you don't have contacts saved to. Now, open Reminders. Accounts can be found in bold over each group of reminder lists. Find the account that has no lists and no reminders. Deactivate those unused accounts in Accounts and Passwords of Settings. The purpose of all of this is knowing where your data is saved. If you find you're using Gmail, for example, to sync your contacts, then you know where to find them if you lose your phone and how to add them to your new device. It's also better if you move all your data to one account. Dealing with pictures is a big task because of how much space they take up, which leads you to having to purchase storage plans from cloud services. Cloud services like these usually gives you access to your photos from anywhere by signing in on their website or installing the app. Here are some options for backing up your photos. 
Google Photos gives you unlimited storage and is a great option if you're a fan of Google products. If you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, then you have Amazon Photos, which also gives you unlimited storage. And there's also Dropbox if you're into that. Lastly, there's Apple's iCloud Photo Library. iCloud Photo Library is a great option for those invested in the Apple ecosystem because it integrates with the Photos app built into iOS and macOS. It will upload all your photos to the cloud and delete them off your device. You'll still see them in your library, but with a cloud icon in the corner indicating that it's not saved on your device. However, clicking on the photo will download it again from the cloud. Using iCloud Photo Library will make one seamless photo catalog across all of your Apple devices. The last thing you would want to do is create a full backup. Previously, this would be done in iTunes, but since fewer people have computers, it's no longer an option for some. Using iCloud Backup, you can save a full copy of your device to the cloud, saving all of your apps, their settings, and their data without needing a computer. If you were to lose your phone, then you could easily restore from a previous backup, rendering your new phone exactly like your old. If you plan on using iCloud Backup or iCloud Photo Library, you'll quickly run out of the 5 gigabytes Apple gives users for free. If you like these options, you'll have to purchase more cloud space. You can do this by opening settings and clicking your user profile at the top, then selecting iCloud. Here, you can see your current iCloud usage. Tapping Manage Storage will show you each app that is using your iCloud storage and how much space they're taking. To purchase more storage, tap Change Storage Plan and select a larger plan that better fits your needs. You may never think about storing two copies of your data until one day when your only copy is gone. This is probably one of the subjects that I run into the most when trying to help people. Unfortunately, by the time I get to it, it's usually too late. That's why it's better to prepare beforehand. Know where your contacts and your calendars, reminders, and notes are saved. Keep a backup of your photos so your memories are not lost forever. And back up your iPhone so you don't have to start from scratch. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to share this video with anyone else who may find it helpful and like and subscribe. And if you're leaving with more questions and answers, leave them in the comments below and check out our website, appleguideweb.com to find more content like this and follow at appleguideweb on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.